Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today, I'm going to be unboxing the new H115i liquid cooler by Corsair. So, previously, my system, it's a Ryzen 7 1700, and it, it um, previously ran on the H60 uh, liquid cooler by Corsair. That cooler it has a radiator only occupying uh, one, uh, a, a fan slot size 120 millimeters. This one, on the other hand, has a radiator size uh, for two 140 millimeter fans, uh, which makes it 280 millimeters. Anyway, I'm I'm really hoping this will be a a good improvement from what I currently have. For example, right now I'm rendering a video in 4K, and it's already running at 78 degrees Celsius, which is actually kind of uh, dangerous for a, a, this type of CPU. Hopefully, this I can get some good improvements with this one and. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to unbox it and we'll see how well it does. Alright, so let's see what's inside. Here's an instruction manual about how to mount it with a bracket. Warranty guide, instruction manual. I'll probably never read those, but that's okay. Oh neat, it came with an AM4 bracket. I actually bought one separately, but I didn't know it actually come with one. I'm gonna put the box down just to make some room so I can display the full magnitude of this radiator size. Wow, look at the size of that. Size of my hand comparison. Yeah, this is a big jump up from what I had before. Now here's the size of my hand again in comparison with uh, the heat sink right here. As you can see there there are three cables dangling off the the pump. It gets its power from a SATA cable. This is the same type of cable that uh, gives power to a hard drive. So it, in, it's uh, ubiquitous in all computers. As well as that uh, there are two fan headers uh, through um, through that, uh, you can, the fans can actually be controlled by the water, the temperature of, of the liquid going through the pipes, which is pretty neat. Uh, not only that, but it I guess it does kind of act like a fan splitter in a way because uh, it only requires one input into the fan header on your motherboard. And this actually does. The only reason why uh, this is meant to be plugged in is because uh, so it can indicate here. Uh, computer w what the RPM is of the pump as well as the f fans. I might just have other uh, other amenities plugged into that uh, motherboard slot. So right here is one of the two of the 14 millimeter fans provided. I'm hoping this will run nice and quiet like it did as advertised. But yeah, it looks like a nice quality fan. Again, in here we have uh, brackets for various motherboard types. Here we have the screws to screw down the pump onto the motherboard. Some extra screws, these are for the fans to go onto your case. And right here we have spacers. I guess this one right here is a AM4 bracket, um, so you can use, for example, Ryzen CPUs with this pump. Right here is a, the cable to plug into the USB 2.0 slot on your motherboard. 
This allows you to use the Corsair software uh, to control the pump, the fan speeds, etc. Right here, I think this is an uh, an LGA, I think 2055. And here's some screws for that as well. So yeah, they didn't, uh, Corsair really didn't lack on giving me enough supplies to securely mount everything. Uh, so when I'm going to now mount this in, into my uh, system and uh, we'll first of all take the old one out and we'll see how it runs. So now I'm going to install the new liquid cooler in the system right here. Unfortunately, I did run out of some thermal paste, but thankfully Corsair did uh, provide some pre-applied stuff on the base right here. Also, uh, I recommend to you guys doing this uh, to use to get the old residue off. Uh, make sure you use alcohol wipes. Any anything other any other water type base may damage the components. Alcohol is good because it evaporates instantly when you apply it. And of course, some paper towels as well. So after completing the system build, I decided to put the CPU to the absolute limits it can go. First of all, I ran a YouTube video on Google Chrome, and then on as well, I ran a Cinebench test. Already, this this should push your um, CPU to the absolute limits. But on top of all that, I ran a 4K video render. S so this is really demanding uh, incredible amounts from your CPU. And as you can see on the table there, uh, it's it's currently averaging around 48 degrees Celsius. Its maximum is 51 degrees Celsius. Before, even even under a, a moderate uh, use, nowhere near compared to this. It, for example, just a 4K video render on, on its own, uh, it was getting up to 78 degrees Celsius with the H60 liquid cooler. So I'm really happy I got I bought this, and I definitely recommend it to any guys who want to get the most of your CPU system. For example, with my Ryzen 7 1700, 
I'm able to overclock it now to 3.9 gigahertz, which gives it a Cinebench test score of around 1700. That's already outperforming most Ryzen um, 7 1800Xs. Uh, so based off that, uh, the, the liquid cooler I bought already basically paid for itself with the price of uh, about $130 US. Anyway guys, I appreciate if you made it this far in the video, and I wish you all the best of luck in your future computer modding. Goodbye.